Imagine this. You bought a lottery ticket, kept it somewhere in your room, and then forgot about it. A few days later, that very ticket wins a jackpot of 1 million rupees. But you have no idea, so while cleaning your room, you throw it away with other old papers. How would you feel when you later find out that you threw away a million rupees? Yes, it would feel terrible, wouldn't it? Now think, if I told you that you might be wasting even more money than that just by making some common money mistakes. I know, it's not like you are losing everything at once, but slowly, little by little, a lot of your money is being wasted. If you avoid these mistakes, you could save lakhs, maybe even crores, over your lifetime. In this video, I'm going to tell you about three big money mistakes and how to fix them. And hey, I'm not telling you to stop buying your favorite things, like morning coffee, fancy dinners, or expensive shoes. Not at all. In fact, I'll show you how you can enjoy these things and still save and invest more. And one more thing. The advice you hear in this video is not my personal financial advice. It's all from a book called I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Ramit Sethi. Let's get started. Mistake number one, relying on willpower. The biggest lie is that you must stop drinking your morning coffee to save money. It goes something like this. If you save two rupees by making coffee at home every day, that's 62 rupees a month and 700 rupees a year. If you invest that, in 10 years, it will become 10,000 rupees. Sounds good, doesn't it? Wrong. Here's why it doesn't work. You have to make this decision every single day. Whether you love coffee, whether you're stressed, or even if there's a coffee shop on your way. Every morning, you have to use your limited willpower and what these no coffee people don't understand is that every time you decide not to buy that latte, you are draining your willpower. Eventually, after some stress, you end up buying coffee again. This cycle keeps repeating itself. Even if you manage to resist, saving two rupees doesn't feel like it's making much of a difference. Unless you literally take the money out of the ATM and put it in a jar, it just gets lost in your account. And if somehow you do manage to save that money, how will you invest it? The whole process becomes difficult. Mistake number two, getting caught in small things. Have you ever noticed that a lot of people gain weight after high school? Those friends who always said they would never get fat, they end up gaining weight too. Why? Weight gain doesn't happen overnight. It happens gradually, a few grams at a time. Money works the same way. We get caught up in small things, like which protein bar to buy, when we should focus on the bigger things, like eating less and exercising more. With money, we do the same thing. We stress about small expenses, worry about interest rates, or chase every new stock tip, but ignore the big things that truly matter. Instead of micromanaging your money, focus on two big things. Set up a no-fee bank account and automate your savings, spending, and investing. And start investing as soon as possible so your money can grow over time. That's it. It's simple, but not flashy, which is why people tend to ignore it. Mistake number three, thinking, I'll wait a bit. Procrastination is a silent but dangerous enemy of your finances. Yes, we all put things off sometimes, but delaying saving and investing is one of the biggest mistakes. Imagine you start investing $7,500 a month at age 25. You do this for 10 years, then stop contributing and let the money grow until age 65. Now imagine your friend starts investing at age 35. He also invests $7,500 a month, but he keeps doing it until age 65 for 30 years. At age 65, who has more money? Surprisingly, it's you. Just because you started earlier, you have $37.5 million more than your friend, even though he invested for 20 years longer. The earlier you start, the more you benefit from compound interest. Just being late by one year can make a huge difference. Imagine if you invest $15,000 per month, but start a year later than your friend, you would end up with $90 million less after 40 years. Just because of that one year delay, what's the real solution? Automate. So you're thinking, okay, I get the mistakes. What's the solution? The solution is simple. 
automate your finances. Set up a system that automatically saves, invests, and pays your bills while you sleep. If you set up an automated system, you'll be ahead of 99% of people. You'll get three major benefits. One, your spending, saving, and investing will happen without thinking. Two, you won't have to rely on willpower. And three, your money will always go where it needs to go. The biggest reason many of us fail to save or invest is because of daily choices. Should you save more? Where should you invest? Stocks, real estate, or index funds? Which debt should you pay off first? All this thinking tires us out, and we end up doing nothing. Automation in Action. Meet Alex. Let me introduce you to Alex. He has a solid system for managing his money. Here's how it works. Alex gets his salary on the 15th of every month. First, his employer automatically deducts 5% for his retirement. The rest goes to his checking account. On the 17th, Alex's automatic transfers begin. 5% goes into investments, and another 5% goes into his savings account. On the 18th, all of Alex's bills, rent, utilities, credit cards, are automatically paid. Whatever money is left is his guilt-free spending money. He likes to party and buy new shoes, and he spends $60,000 a month on these things, and he doesn't feel guilty about it. That's because Alex follows a conscious spending plan. He spends extravagantly on what he loves and cuts back on things he doesn't care about. He lives in a small apartment in a cheap area, and he doesn't pay for a gym membership. He prefers running in the park. He has decided what matters to him and directs his money accordingly. By the end of the month, Alex has invested 10%, saved 5%, paid all his bills on time, and still spent on what he loves without worrying about money. That's the beauty of automation. Create your conscious spending plan. If you want to do the same, start with two steps. First, categorize your spending. Here's a suggested breakdown. Fixed costs, 50 to 60% of your income, rent, utilities, etc. Investments, 10% long-term retirement accounts, short-term savings, 5 to 10% for vacations or big purchases. Guilt-free spending, 20 to 25% for fun things like eating out or shopping. Next, try the think, want, do exercise. Take a blank sheet of paper and write down how much you think you're spending in each category, how much you want to spend, and how much you actually spend. Look at your expenses from the last one or two months to get a clear picture. Once you know where your money is going, make the necessary adjustments and set up automatic transfers to make sure your new plan runs smoothly without your involvement. And remember, what seems like unpredictable expenses, like car repairs or a surprise ticket, aren't really that surprising if you look at your spending over the course of a year. So plan for these surprises in advance, set up an automatic deposit, and you're done. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Automate your finances, enjoy your favorite things, and set yourself up for financial success without the stress.